Hello there, welcome back. Welcome to the course of Phoenix for testers. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can verify if particular file exists on Unix server or not. That is with the help of JSCH, which is a Java SSH library. And uh, yeah, so we can basically use this particular code piece of code in my test automation framework if we have any such a requirement. Okay, so let me log into my uh, Unix server. okay so if i do ls on my home page you can see i have multiple files present over here so if you remember uh, in my one of the video where i ran a shell script or with automation it has created one file output file called as output file dot txt okay so let us say if i have some requirement like i am running some shell script and my shell script is producing couple of files and i need to verify those files got all actually produced or not if the files are already created or not if the files are already present or not on particular location on my unix server then this particular piece of code is going to help you uh, yeah basically in your test automation framework okay so let me go and go to my eclipse id basically okay so this is my uh, code where i talked in my last video like how you can receive a file from unix server okay so basically last time what we did is we created a instance of sftp and we used the get method to get the file from unix server again we have one put method to send the file to your unix server right so basically i'm using this piece of code so what i will do is i will just copy this uh, class and i'll paste it and i'll name it as check if file exists on unix so unix or linux fine so it's here great so now what and all i need now so let us start from scratch so the very first thing is my private key path so this is something which i need in all the uh, examples which i'm talking because in every example i am i'm connect i'm getting connected with unix server and i'll be getting connected with the help of this key itself key and this few parameters like username host name and port if your unix server uh, accepts password instead of uh, private key then you can set it using session dot set password and you can provide your password uh fine and if you have multiple things uh like uh, and out of that if you want to send the preferred authentication then basically you can set this set configuration you, you can set this one of the parameter called the preferred authentication and you can set the values by comma separated like i want to give first preference to public key then i want to go give some pass preference to password and then finally let us say i need to give uh preference to my keyboard interactive where it will ask keep password in my command prompt something like that okay so you can do that sequence over here great then i'm configuring the session fine so this is all about authentication fine so now i'm connected with the session and this time as well i need this uh, open channel with sftp instance because it is again a kind of file transfer because i'm going to check if my particular file is present or not right so now uh, if i go here and get method let me check what and all i have so connect and disconnect uh, the very basic method then i have one cd method where i can change my directory then i have another method called as ls to get a list of files right so basically this is something which i am going to use in this case ls then we have a few more like make directory then we have get put exit and we have many more right l password eof is closed disconnected so basically um, it has a large set of methods so you can uh, look at uh, them as per your requirement whatever requirement you have and basically this is something is uh, all the operations required which requires basically sftp or ftp uh, basically all those methods should be present in this particular class sftp class okay so i'm going to use sftp.ls okay and here i need to provide the path right so this path is nothing but 
let us say I want to check if this particular file output file dot txt is present or not but at which location so I want to check it if it is present in this particular location or not which is my home slash Prakash okay so let me give that particular location over here okay so this sftp dot ls fine now what this ls return if i hover my mouse on this ls you can see it returns a vector okay so this vector is basically uh, as similar to your collection where you can store a list of entries you can say it is uh, just like as like your uh, how your list work how your array list work system and in similar concept it work but just the thing is it has some legacy method uh, which are not used much nowadays because uh, th there are many advanced method in the collection but this particular method returns a vector so i need to store it into a vector basically okay so i'm going to create a vector instance and which is present in java utils vector and what is the type okay so my type over here is ls do i have something like ls entry yeah so ls entry is basically in list of entries present in directory okay and let me give the name as files let us say okay so what i did is i just stored the list of entries whatever list i'll get on this particular directory into a vector you can just say it as a list okay list of files so this basically files object will contain list of all the files which are present at this particular location okay and for example if i just do uh, sys o system dot out dot print ln and if i simply print files dot get uh, okay so i i need to check how many uh, files are present in this particular directory but for for just for example sec i'm just trying to get the very first file which is present in my particular location that is home slash prakash okay so let us check what output it prints okay so this is the very first entry which it has printed right file to send to post and i believe uh, okay give me a second ls hyphen ltr okay okay looks like it doesn't maintain the sequence okay but it is giving me the complete things okay but this is something which i don't want i just want the file name okay so if i do something after get zero if i do something like get file name now this time i should get only the file name other than getting all these things which i don't want as of now great can you see now this got one file name which is file to send to host okay so the, this rest of the other things are the messages just i printed for my uh, understanding purpose but this is something which is printed by this particular files dot get zero now what my aim is to my aim is to verify if particular file is present so in order to do that what i need to do is i need to iterate over the complete uh, list of files which is present in this particular files object okay so basically the very first thing is i need to get the file count okay so how can i get the file count int uh, file count is equal to then files i'll use this files object dot then i have one method called as size method okay so this basically this size method will give me the list of all the objects uh, sorry the number of all the objects which are present in this particular object which is my file which contain all the lists okay so now what i will do is basically i will uh, iterate it in a for loop okay so for i will do something like for int i is equal to zero i is less than okay so i need to do it till my uh, sorry till my file count 
and I plus plus great now what I need to do in this loop so basically by using this for loop I am going to iterate over all the files uh, which are present in this files object okay and what I am going to check over is if my file exists okay so uh, fine so what I need to check is if Uh, what is my object name my object name is files dot get and I'm starting it from zero so that is starting from I right dot get file name sorry get file name okay and I want to check if it is uh, equals or let me use equal signal case okay and the actual file name which I want to give okay so in this case i'll give the file name as let us say my output file dot txt okay so this is something which i'll give here sorry okay so if my uh, file name is equal to this okay then what then that means the file is present okay so i'll put in some message like file is present okay and if my file is present then that's it that's what I was looking for okay then what I can do is I can do channel disconnect okay and then I can do session disconnect okay and finally I can break out of the loop otherwise it will uh, keep looking uh, keep in the loop but since I got the file then I need to break out of the loop fine now uh, how I will get to know if the file is not present ok so what I will do is I will add one more if condition if my i is equal to equal equal to uh, ok so what it means if my uh, iteration is reaching to my last file so what is in my last file last file is nothing but my file count minus 1 ok so if this particular condition is getting satisfied what that means is my particular file is not present because I am already iterating to the uh, I am already reaching my end of the list file is not present fine and then finally again the same three lines of code disconnect and break anyway it is going to break so that's it so this is something which is going to help me okay so this break and all uh, disconnect and all I don't need because I am already doing it session again I am doing it I don't need this find this SFTP again I don't need this okay now uh, let us try and execute this particular piece of code so since my output file dot txt is already present so I should get a message like file is present which I am printing it from here so you can see file is present okay so let me remove this uh, okay now let us say I am just changing the file name I am just looking out for file output file one dot txt which is not present so if I try and execute this so can you see I am getting the message like file is not present right so this is how basically you can keep checking so this is uh, I, I just printed the messages basically but in your real time uh, real time scenarios what you might need to do is you might you might need to have one method which returns true or false uh, you, you may have one method like uh, okay let me just drop something you may have some method like uh, public boolean if file exists on server something like that you may have some method like this okay and what you can do is from this particular method you can return uh, basically true or false okay so what you can do is like whenever wherever I am printing this message right so from instead of break uh, instead of break what you can do is you can return from here return as true 
okay uh, after you are returning break is not required and if file is not present right what that mean is you can return as false over here right so this is uh, something how you can use it in your real time uh, scenarios right so that you can refer it in your other scripts right so this is uh, what i wanted to show you basically how you can execute how you can check basically if particular file exists on your unix server or basically linux server or not okay so fine so that's it i have for this video where i have shown you how we can verify if particular file exists on unix server or not so uh, i have shown you like we have a large number of methods which are present under this sftp okay so you can just you can just uh, go through them one by one may yeah so as per your requirement you can pick your method and start working on it right? they have a huge set of methods whichever are required for uh, performing your sftp operations okay so that's it for this video thank you